Değerli arkadaşlar öncelikle hoş geldiniz. Sayın Başkan çok teşekkür ediyorum. Yani çok güzel bir Thank you Mr. President. This is a very effective event. Thank you for making us happy and bringing us all together. So as far as I can see, we have young audience here. Some may be offended, but I don't know. Some may be happy to hear that. This is uh, what we see. Uh, as we see, is a project by Tubitak. This is Smart Leaf Spring. The project is called Damage Detection using carbon nanotubes and composite a leaf spring. Uh, of course, this is not only specific to leaf springs, but you can apply it to anything. And uh, our assistant uh, will be talking about it, my PhD student. Uh, this is the project uh, team. Of course, when uh, this is composite and when it's uh, s uh, smart, we need to have uh, people from the field of chemistry, electronics, and uh, this is our friends here, and also mechanics. Uh, let's talk about our university, our laboratory. Uh, in our laboratory, about uh, composites, Mechanically speaking, we can conduct all the tests. And uh, as you can see, uh, we have a winding uh, machine, a video accelerometer, but in composite, you should not use that. You should uh, use uh, stranger. Uh, and, um, this is a 36-month uh, project. As you uh, know, the uh, tests uh, uh, the fatigue tests also uh, take uh, 36 months. And in our uh, workshop, we do have handlay. Ön planda tutuyoruz. Evet, teoriyi veriyoruz ama öğrencilerimize um, so we do provide a theoretical information to our friends but also practical information uh, and uh, i uh, when i arrived at istanbul university they almost had nothing about composite but uh, such composite projects uh, were supported by a certain uh, funds uh, for example by tubitak and other institutions well, uh, the industrialists uh, say uh, that your graduates don't know uh, even how to apply a screwdriver, and they don't know fiber, they don't know gel coats, they say. So uh, I uh, should thank Tumetix and Polya because they uh, support us uh, for the materials, and we would like to thank them. Uh, they also help us to um, help us deliver uh, training, uh, practical training to our students. Because on one side you have the theory, on the other side you have the practice. And if you don't combine these two, uh, you will have uh, nothing almost at the end of the day. And uh, some students uh, say and ask to us where they would use it, but we use such things in so many environments that you would be amazed. Uh, the smart cars. You will probably remember that in 1980s, when I was a child, I was a, a fan of uh, Dark Thunder. Uh, it used to uh, talk, uh, it uh, talked to you, it uh, said that it has a failure. Uh, the failure and so on so it was so amazing so it seems like amazing so it seems like we are headed towards uh, the, the black dark uh, thunder like cars 
And uh, we started uh, with uh, leaves, the smart uh, spring leaves, and now uh, we are headed uh, towards uh, the uh, other uh, uh, things like uh, night riders and so on. And uh, you need to establish, you need to manufacture um, uh, light way cars. And this is demanded by the industry. And this is another smart car. And I don't know uh, by this, uh, by which com company this is, but I think smart cars are really comfortable for uh, ladies. And my wife has difficulties in parking, and, I, and she demands me to buy this for her. I don't know if I can afford it or not. So you know our team, the target of our team is as such. When uh, the uh, aircraft uh, takes off and when flying, we should uh, make sure that the aircraft by itself uh, identifies uh, the failure and uh, repairs it. So this is uh, sensing self-healing, uh, if you will. And um, it may be, it may sound a little assertive, but my target throughout my life was as such. Uh, in the military, uh, there was uh, this uh, plate that uh, used to read, uh, the uh, difficult may uh, turn out to be handled immediately, while the impossible will take some time. So we should not say that there is uh, impossible. Uh, there are impossible things. Probably it would uh, somehow uh, be solved uh, after, it, uh, after a while. So we talked about uh, self-healing, sensing self-healing. Is it possible? Well, partially it is possible. There are studies ongoing, and our friends will uh, demonstrate it to you. Uh, we will uh, get the telephone number of a volunteer friend, and we will have a message sent to that phone. And what are we supposed to do for that? We uh, need to uh, have the identification of uh, the failure when the plane is uh, in the air. We uh, now um, are able to do that. Our assistant uh, friend will be talking about it, not me. And we should locate uh, the failure. Locating the failure uh, is something paid at, uh, attention to, uh, certain wires and grills are used to uh, locate the failure, but uh, we will explain it further to you, and the roadmap we will adapt, uh, and some friends uh, say and ask, they say, uh, why are you sharing? those pieces of information, but uh, these are important things. And uh, let's continue. Self-healing or self-repairing. You may identify uh, the failure and uh, you locate it and uh, then uh, you expect it uh, to self-repair. Or then, uh, when uh, the plane is flying, the aircraft is in the air, uh, still, it should do these all. This is a small sample. There are grids here, uh, one, 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 two. So if there is any disconnection here in that plate, by the way, you use uh, carbon nanotubes. It's conductive, as you know. And when it's conductive, then what? It will conduce the electricity. And uh, the uh, leaf 
uh, spring uh, works in that fashion. When uh, the electricity is uh, conducted, uh, conduced, uh, then uh, the resistance uh, goes up, and the FATIC uh, tests should know, and uh, then uh, an automatic message will be sent to the driver stating that he or she is in danger. So we will make sure of that. It may be a one to one, a one by one uh, plate, or if it's uh, one by two or two by two meters plate, then uh, how will it be possible? And you may have uh, three, four, five of those plates as well. So we are working on those. And let's say that one to one, one uh, to uh, two, two to two, and let's say that you know uh, such resistance values, uh, and there is a defect, let's assume, and when there is that uh, failure, that uh, defect, then there is a increase, a traumatic increase in the resistance. I started with one, but you can also go from one to two, one to three, uh, one to four, so when you do those, the resistance will jump up here uh, with a mathematical model. Uh, you uh, once uh, converted into a 3D uh, version, you will have a peak point uh, at where the resistance is. Then you can locate that defect. So we are working uh, still uh, to decrease uh, the figures a little bit. Let me continue. So self-healing, self-repairing, this is something that we are proud about. As you know, Aziz Sanjar was awarded with Nobel Prize, and uh, we are proud. And that healing, self-healing, is uh, maybe uh, already existing in our uh, tissues. I'm not a biologist, but let me explain it to you as much as I can. Here, uh, the, there are the cancer cells, let's say, and when you uh, deliver administrate enzymes uh, into it, it cuts it and uh, keeps it off, and then uh, the uh, tissue renews itself and you get rid of uh, the cancer cell and this is why uh, the Nobel Prize I was awarded was handed to Mr. Sanjar and uh, there are some other methodologies for self-healing or self-repairing and many friends here are interested in composites and you would probably know we have epoxies and we have stiffeners and on the uh, right hand side it looks like uh, a hazelnut a shell of a hazelnut, a hazelnut and the, the structure of uh, that uh, hazelnut is uh, crispy and uh, there is epoxy uh, in it. What about in the small one, there is the stiffness, the toughener. So uh, once uh, the material uh, starts uh, cracking, as uh, the shell is uh, uh, very uh, crispy, uh, it uh, brittle, it uh, do uh, break or crack, and uh, once uh, the system itself identifies that and it heals itself, then this is called self healing. I will explain it uh, to you further, but as uh, we have many young people here, I would like to also mention a couple of other things. I don't know if you were here or not, but there was a panel uh, last evening. The composite industry is on the rice in Turkey, but what kinds of composites are we manufacturing? Uh, there are some uh, products uh, that Uh, 
should be innovative. So uh, I have 10 uh, siblings, by the way. I'm from uh, Ankara. And uh, when I was attending to secondary school, every year uh, the number of my siblings uh, would increase. Uh, so not the siblings that you would guess. Uh, I go to the secondary school and my uh, teacher asks me uh, some certain questions to get to know me. For example, my uh, friend, uh, one says that I have two siblings and the other says I have three. And uh, my formula was uh, N, uh, N plus four. If the one next to me used to say Two, I would say it's four, because I had two many siblings. And uh, uh, my father used to think if uh, he had many children, he could send some uh, to uh, the laundry uh, jobs uh, and some uh, to uh, the plowing on the field and so on. But now that mentality has changed and it has to change. It's now about the uh, brain. Uh, so one person can do everything uh, at the same time. We uh, do send some uh, machinery uh, to abroad, but what do we get in return? We will see now. So do you think these uh, two are equals? Uh, no. 25 uh, tracks uh, of processed marble. You send it to abroad, and you can uh, only afford it to one tomography uh, vehicle. Sorry, a device. And so, uh, what I would suggest uh, to our young friends is for them uh, go out of ordinary, uh, think out of the box. Um, we used to, to uh, drill the Cosmo uh, composite materials, uh, but now it's old-fashioned. We should be interdisciplinary and uh, think uh, out of the box. So. Oh, how should the knowledge or information be? Well, it shouldn't be a word of mouth. I say so because uh, we, uh, you know, uh, get to know many friends from the industry. We have a, a booth here, and uh, they come uh, to us and s s say certain things. So it seems like they're like word of mouth, words of mouth. Uh, but let me. Uh, quote uh, a little story. When I was preparing for the university exam, um, at the Turkish class, uh, the professor asked us, asked us uh, to say a proverb, uh, and I was sitting in the front desk. We have a proverb uh, which reads, uh, that um, a, a giraffe uh, who would um, be interested in elegance would wear white during the winter. And uh, my friend said that it's not a traff, but it's something else. A, a word is, is sounded similar to traff, and it would mean uh, the elegance. And uh, I came to figure out that it was not a traff, but it was uh, elegance. I mean, it, that proverb meant whoever uh, was interested in elegance would even wear white during the winter and would not care. Uh, so um, we uh, do have uh, certain things in our minds. We think that we know them, but some of them are just words of uh, mouth. Howard Garden has, has, uh, has a intelligence the theory and he says uh, the more uh, the uh, senses are in use the more successful 
you are. You may touch, you may hear, you may uh, feel. Uh